level you are, the best comfort level, right? So, and we cannot be like, you know, you are on the other side. I don't know what is going on. And the thing is, I would not like to just call from here randomly and say, okay, you say. Right, so if you come out voluntarily, it will be good. So, but it is nice that. Right, and how many are you from out of Gujarat students? I mean, right now you are all from home. But in the chat box, just tell me how many of you are out of Gujarat? So very few, right? So anybody, it was by mistake or somebody raised the hand? Open queue, what is this? Okay, so all these raised hands are out of Gujarat. There are many students. So it was by mistake or you raised the hand, right? Okay, okay. And others are from here. So no problem. Uh, just I wanted to know that in this condition, because all those who are out of Gujarat, it is good. And uh, anyway. So anybody in campus or all from home only? Let me clear this queue. Uh, lower, lower all. No, I mean, uh, just raise the hand, how many in campus? Anybody? No, no? Oh. Well, you have to be at home. I think things will be fine soon. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, analog circuit, what do you mean by analog circuit? You can unmute your mic, okay? Please unmute your mic and you can answer. If you answer, you leave your ID in the chat box. What do you mean by analog circuit? And if this is the name, then what is another, you know, another kind of circuit? How many circuits are there? This is analog. Is there a kind? Hello? Do you think I should give the, say up the name and you want to answer? Chirag? Unmute your mic, please. Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good, Chirak. So tell me, uh, this. what do you mean by analog circuits? Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, uh, analog yes, circuit, yeah. uh, what I, what I mean, what I understand by that, like, uh, like yes. circuit, circuit having currents, having a default, like having values, like in point values, not in a distinct digital value, one and zeros like that. And we can get a voltage like a 3.7 or many things like that. That variable that is not like a pulse is not pulse like a, the graph. But it's not the one. The voltage and current can have any value. That's what you mean, right? Yes, we can have, like in digital. What if we what we understand that we have like range. Like if we get voltage between five and zero, then we can say that it is one. Or like zero to minus five, then it we can say that my no. it is zero. But as far as circuits, circuits are concerned, where are these analog circuits used? Any idea? Uh, these are circuits, right? Analog circuits, like uh, it is used in many things, like in this uh, IoT things, like uh, transferring data and uh, then uh, just demoduling and moduling things, like communication okay. systems, many Okay. Okay. Good. Chira. Anybody would like to add to what Chirak said? See, you are here to learn. Anything wrong is also welcome. But I will motivate you to speak out because, you know, tomorrow you will be BTEC, you will be working somewhere. I want you to be manager, right? You cannot be, I mean, you have to be a leader. You cannot be quiet. So from the very first day, I'm just darshan. Please help, Pachira. Darshan, where is he? So to darshan, popat, darshan, popat. Please unmute your mic.
See, if you are not there, the other side, it is a crime, huh? This is not the way. Uh, even I can do that. I will be uh, here showing online and then I will just go away. Uh, will that be okay? See, this is something ridiculous because this is not allowed. How come you be not there? You are showing here. Uh, then don't e email me or message me that you are Hello, sorry. Uh, who is this? Yeah, it's me, Darshan. Why do you take so much of time? I'm oh, sorry, my mic was not on. Unmute your mic. mic, huh? You should not take so much of time. Be ready, okay, mentally, everybody. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, please help Chirag Darshan. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry, what was the question? You did you listen to Chirag? Um, no, ma'am. Then why? See. So you want us to spend time in just uh, figuring out that why didn't you answer him in the whole lecture? Sorry, ma'am. No, no, that's what. Don't tell me sorry or don't email me, but I am going to read this note down every time, okay? Then, who is this Gandhi Soming? Please help Chirag. Yes, ma'am. Uh, as per Chirag uh, said, that analog circuits are used in uh, communication you systems. Okay. So, me, what Chirag yes, said that line, you add something more if you can. Uh, can you repeat, ma'am? I didn't listen. See, my question was what do you mean by analog circuit? Just the name of the course. You studied now, then you are in second year, fourth yes, semester. Sir. Idea hoga, analog, yes, ma'am. Analog circuits are usually uh, which can give uh, can out in, give input uh, take input or output analog values like continuous, not discrete uh, as digital values. No, no, so don't repeat. So you know the same thing. You nothing more. What Chirak said. Anybody would like to say? Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. 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 Good morning, Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, I would like to uh, miss as per I understand uh, and analog circuit is a circuit which please involves name, which involves please. analog analog which involves analog analog signals. You, that is fine. Analog circuit has the analog signal, okay, but analog circuit kya hai? The circuit is uh, the circuit that will process analog signal, but what are those circuits? Where are they used? What is the significance of this? Why analog, not just the circuit, right? Anyway, so no problem. I just wanted to know how well you are. So, uh, okay. So let me see now, be attentive, okay? Because you should know why you are doing analog circuit. Okay, and uh, the significance of this term. So I'm talking to you in a broader sense. So this electronics, it is the circuits that you are, we are using the electronics in general, the circuits, all electronics. That is more than half a century, right? We are using these electronic circuits and it has evolved by time. Okay, now the circuits are basically, they process signal and the signals, they carry information, right? That information can be any parameter, okay? And let's say that you want to measure pressure, Right? So that pressure or that temperature in, in circuits, when you see some quantity, right? So that pressure or that temperature in, uh, in electronics, we have your main parameters are current and voltage, okay? And other than that, so this current and voltage is an output of the change in the resistance. You are applying some voltage, you, the R is changing, or in some cases capacitance, so all the sensors, so if I talk of a simple, uh, this thing, uh, let's say uh, a sensor, okay, a temperature sensor, right? Then uh, we, by the temperature, R will change, by changing R, current will change, right? And if you measure that current, you can know the temperature, for example, 
okay so all of this uh, whatever the quantity that you are measuring in electronics it will come down to current and voltage okay now any quantity when uh, any parameter temperature or you are measuring pressure right so corresponding to the pressure right so depending on the physics of that sensor r will change or capacitance will change and that's how voltage or current will change okay and we are measuring that so it's a game of current and voltage at the end of the day which is uh, output of the change of r or c or voltage and this current and voltage when they are generated right uh, they are analog they can be from some milli milli ampere to right micro ampere to milli to some amperes depends on the circuit or the sensor or how it is generated so basically it is carrying information now when it is generated any signal is analog in nature okay and that signal is weak it is really weak so there can be noises added to that that noise is a uh, is a circuit noise okay it's not the noise you make will be added to that circuit so we say this noise that are uh, the disturbances so let's say even if your wires electrical wires are running in parallel or nearby they will be disturbers of each other magnetic field can disturb right uh, the device the some fault in the device can add a noise to that even voltage fluctuations can add a noise so all these are so to your signal there will be some addition of noise also and that will you know change your signal completely so the signal is very weak if when somebody is weak anybody can come and slap right or anybody can do any mischief we like that way if the signal is weak it is not going to carry the correct information so we have to make that signal strong so how do you make the signal strong if i want if a weak signal is weak and i want to make it strong how do i make it any idea modulation modulation yeah amplification amplify right you amplify that you make it five times ten times more in terms of voltage or current current amplifier voltage amplifier are you getting me yes ma'am ah oh. Yes, so yes yeah, so we amplify that so at the point of generation of the signal what you need is an analog circuit and amplify karu pade you for doing all this it needs power see a circuit is working okay you have components you know diode you must have studied to some extent some some transistor bgt or mosfet to make this work apne par to make ourselves work you have to eat na if you don't eat you are weak you cannot work you you are immobile right so to make a circuit work it will need energy that energy is given by the battery the voltage source okay so uh, so you will need power circuit all these power circuits are analog in nature okay and then by time what we have realized is that when you mix so now now by time as i said electronics evolved okay so then comes digital now what are the advantages of digital the first thing is processing if you want to store your data if you want to process even if you want to transmit and it is immune to noise zero and one right it is either zero or one in analog it is from zero to one you will have zero it depends on the precision if the instrument can measure it can be any voltage point One 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 also right point two point so and analog it can take anywhere in digital you have to just handle zero and one even if the little noise gets ended up now still you can differentiate zero and one so to store uh, you can store digital zero and one you can store in your memory right so storage processing all these things are easy in digital circuits and the resolution i mean you can recreate your signal again okay you can store it you can recreate and then let's say i am speaking now okay so that goes to the it goes to the microphone and then it is amplified it is processed it is stored and then you know then it goes it, so now it is transmitted it goes to the server somewhere right and then it comes to you but when you are listening in your loud speaker in a speaker right it is again analog so analog ka digital hua it was stored 
uh, it was it can be stored it can be transmitted right and then again it is converted to analog when you are listening it is analog so so this is the process so at the point of generation then at the receiving end also you have to recreate you have to make it analog but digital is for noise immunity to process and to store so now you can understand that when you are designing your application it has both analog circuit and it has digital also okay Nothing, but they generate some clock frequency signal. Okay, it is hard at the point of so especially amplifiers. Now there are many kinds of amplifiers. Okay, and you may have to have them in stages also. Then for a particular range of a signal, you have to design that. Okay, this is the output of the signal. This is the current. This is the voltage or whatever. And then I need a current amplifier. I need a voltage amplifier. An engineer is given a specification. And then he say that okay, input is this much, output is this much, so my gain should be this much, and now you have to design. Now design means you know to use the component, even if you are using one transistor to make an amplifier, it is challenging. To design an amplifier with one transistor is more challenging than to design a digital circuit that has thousands of or millions of transistors. You understand that. So now when you are designing something, it will have an analog circuit, it will have a digital circuit. And any, if your laptop, it will have both analog, it will have power unit, it will have amplifiers. Let's say I'm speaking now, so there's a microphone there. And then as I said, it will amplify, right? All these things it will do and then it will digitize. There's a loudspeaker also when you are speaking. So, all, so there's everything there. So generally in a whole application, the analog circuit is let's say 15 to 20 percent of the total circuit okay and digital is 70 to 80 percent but the effort to design digital to design analog is 80 to 85 percent you need people who are good who has understood good circuits and has an understanding of analog can only do alto faltu ni kar sakta even if i Digital is like, you know, I teach you and you can teach somebody. It's really easy. Everybody will love to do. And this is, it is all on the understanding. If you understand, you love to do. The main thing is you have to understand. Although analog is challenging, but for you guys it is not. Because I'm going to explain you in a way that you easily understand. So do you understand now what is analog, what is digital as a whole? And you have studied digital, right? So from inverter to AND gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, all this we are doing. When you design a digital circuit, you can use these blocks directly. Okay, it is like they are, uh, you are having sub circuits, you drag and drop and you connect and it is almost done. So digital is easy to do it, but analog even with one transistor, it is challenging. Now in analog, we start with diode. Okay, so are you all understanding, right? Whatever I'm speaking? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Very good. So we start with diode, and diode from the name di means two, two electrodes, the device that has two electrodes. And it is, see, basically all of this electronics diode or transistors, like we are going to study BJT, that you must have studied somewhere in your 11, 12th or in your first year. But now you are, as an engineer in this course, you will get involved, okay? So, and that's why you would have not understood the significance of that. And that critical thinking will only come if some problem is given to you. But if you understand the theory good, you can dig into the problem and try to find out something. So now it's that, it's like, you know, you have to digest these things. So that uh, you are better off with handling the solutions for this. So now this diode is basically, uh, so now as I said in power, uh, amplifier, in this uh, power circuits, okay. So as a rectifier we use. Okay, and there are many, many applications. So basically this diode or a transistor, they can be used as a switch on and off. But in addition to that, 
their characteristics means it is the nature of the device like we human beings we have a nature right i know so about our chain i know our chain that way this devices have a nature they have some characteristics and that nature is in terms of i and v you plot i and v current and voltage graph and you can understand even if you have never seen the device it will so what is i and v to that device you give a voltage and how how does it behave in this point how what kind of current it passes right when you give a voltage so this is the nature of the device and looking to the graph you can say that okay this will behave as a switch or a digital circuit zero and one the same thing can behave as the bjt is a transistor it it has three electrodes it can behave as a switch it can be used in digital circuits and it can behave as a it you can make an amplifier it can be used in analog circuit but it has some nature okay if we uh, and that nature also in in uh, in different with different voltages high voltage low voltage it behaves differently so we have to give proper conditions to this circuit for our intended functionality okay and that is known as biasing ke bhai tumhe atlu voltage aapo to yam kaam kar sakte atlu aapo to am kaam kar sakte so it depends on ki bhai the way you bias you give the voltages and stuff so everything we are going to study and i am going to explain you in a easy way uh so so basically uh, they, and then how it is behaving it depends on the physics of that it depends on the physics of the device okay so the material it is so at the end it is all physics it is all material science and they all have equations so unless and until not unless and until mathematically if it is not proven it cannot be accepted so all of these things are mathematical there but there is i and v equation which depends on other physical parameters like the the cross section of that okay and uh, the the mobility electrons the, the current is because of the electron because of the hole so the, the making of that and the the the, the as i said the physical properties of that material so we will see all of those the current and voltage depends on that right so it's it's that way and then similarly this these things are for all the devices is a physics involved based on the physics you have an equation right and then it behaves accordingly so unless and until we don't prove it so let's say this are diode this bjt that you are going to study right this are more than 50 years old devices and they have been used till date now let me tell you there is something like integrated circuit you all know what is an integrated circuit yes ma'am yes, yes so now in the lab you must have done in your first year or i don't know in your schooling all this you have seen r l c resistor capacitor inductor right and then uh, you have seen diode also similarly the transistor bjt also looks like that but when you have an integrated circuit which is there inside your phone or any ic right i'll show you everything i'm just giving you a brief now the big picture what why you are doing and you have to understand that so that ic the inter chip we say right it has millions of transistor and those transistors are known as mosfet so transistor is basically a three terminal device okay which can act as a switch you can make a digital circuit when i say switch and you can make an analog circuit also now the chip that you see right your microprocessor chip for example so that is completely digital okay there are chips that have analog also part inside that now that chip has millions of transistors and that transistor is known as mosfet have you heard of mosfet Have you heard of MOSFET? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, good. See, MOSFET is nothing but it is also a transistor. By BJT means bipolar junction transistor, which we are going to extensively study here. That is also a transistor, but ये जो MOSFET है वो it is smaller in size compared to a BJT. Like a resistor, which is a discrete component, and a capacitor, you can have a BJT, a discrete one in the lab if you were there. But we will show you through this online 
on the, the experiments hardware and also that you are aware of uh, and so this is like a discrete component a bgt like a resistor like a capacitor and we perform experiments in the lab but mosfet is with a little brother of a bgt in sense it is a transistor but the dimensions in is in micrometer okay so micro means 10 raised to minus 6 of meter you cannot see with your eye that small is mosfet okay and now as you can understand this is really bigger in size the mosfet which is a little brother and we can make it in an integrated circuit in an ic in a silicon wafer okay in a silicon wafer you can make a mosfet a transistor which is of a scale of micrometer this is in millimeter bjt now you can understand that that guy is really little one little brother of this right and because it is little now if your home is little it will have compared to a mahal if you are, if you are living in a 2 3 bhk apartment right it will have lesser area so similarly here also the size matters if the size is big it can have more current okay because the size more current the device will have we will see everything in detail i'm just explaining you so bigger the home more area so bigger the device it can handle more current so when we compare a mosfet with a bjt bjt can handle more current and more current means your signal is more strong the signal is more strong means it is very fast it is very you know the resolution wise because now when the signal is strong the little noise can do no harm your signal is still there it is as it is okay and then this current will pass through different stages okay so the in analog also there can be three different stages of amplifier then there can be a filter now from the first stage to the when it is passing through the first amplifier it is an input and it goes as an output and is another amplifier right so your signal should not be attenuated it should be amplified so in the signal the stronger the signal the better so when you need high voltage high current we will use bjt to make an analog circuit and mosfet to kya itna chota hai ki it will give in an in micro range micro ampere range current dega this will give in milli that will give this will give thousand times more current so where you need high voltage high current in in applications where you need high voltage high current you will have to use bjt but by time now mosfet also there are power mosfets available and we can get higher voltages but still uh, bjt's are more uh, they give more current and more power compared to a mosfet so where you need more uh, high uh, voltage high power high current we will use bjt and that is used today also in your circuits okay that's what so this is the very critical part and for every application you have to design that and then for uh, running the circuits you will need to give energy because if you are working you are studying good you are running you are doing some activity you will need energy for that you have to eat so this they need energy for that we give bias we give some voltage that is known as biasing that also we will see so there are so many things that has to be done tuned very precise tuning has to be done to make sure that okay this is my input okay my input i'm just uh, I'm just saying the unit and um, the unit whatever you want to take if I my input is one and my I need 10 output of 10 times more then it has to be very fine tuned in terms of voltage you are giving to the circuit and the parameters of the circuit uh, the other components we are using right everything so we'll see all those things and it is nothing but circuit design pure circuit design where you will use your network theorems you will use Thevenin's you will use Norton's you will use KVL you will use KCL so my warning to you or advice or a request is you please go through those basics of how to solve a circuit if you cannot do that right uh, and then in exam there are like so this I just ask is problems, okay, 
and uh, a question can be 15 marks, one five, and then you may lose marks, so you should be good in all of this. Okay, now the amplifier that we designed, we need the best amplifier, that it should give gain, same gain, ever. Whatever things may change, the surrounding, some parameters, voltage, fluctuations, by time, by aging, it should give the same gain because like if I'm speaking now and whatever the volume you have set, it should not fluctuate, right? That is what is, we need consistency. It cannot fluctuate. It cannot give sometimes more gain and sometimes less gain. That should not happen. So we have to make the circuit robust. We do by giving a negative feedback. So these are all. And when you when you need something very, you know, when you are designing something that is the best, it will add complexity also in the design. But then at the end it is possible. Okay, by putting little more effort in terms of component circuit design, little more power, but you are getting stability. Stability is the main thing. Whether it is circuit or life, people are looking for stability. Right? Okay, then job will jaya. So the person is stable that way. Right? In the circuit also we look for stability. Stability in terms of if it is an amplifier, it is a gain. That gain should remain constant irrespective of any problem surrounding the circuit. Problem means fluctuations that we will see. And then there are other things, differential amplifiers is, let's say, for example, as I gave you uh, uh, in the beginning an example that a sensor, right, uh, to, to, it is sensing something and it is giving the output. If it is sensing temperature, it will give the output in terms of current. By change. If the temperature is changing, the output of the sensor uh, the current will change and that current we will then process it, we will digitize it and then we will have, we will calibrate it that corresponding to this current, this is the temperature. Okay, X current hai, to Y temperature hai, Z current hai, to A temperature hai, like that way. So that's how things go. So now when you have a sensor, let's say, and a noise gets added to that, right? So the, 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 the original signal is very weak. And then the noise that is adding is really big compared to that. Okay, a signal will uh, be like, uh, so it's like now it is all noise only. There is no real signal. So we are engineers. We have found out ways and we use different kinds of amplifier. That is known as differential amplifier, let's say. So we use different kinds of amplifier to get just the signal, desired signal. And we eliminate the noise and all. So the different kinds of amplifiers here. Another example is a differential amplifier. Okay, and then you have multi-vibrators where if you know you are giving an input, a square wave, a rectangular wave, a sine wave, right? So there are circuits that make that. When you see a, a box like thing and you are giving some input, a wave, waveform, sine wave, rectangular wave, right? So all those circuits, uh, they are known as vibrators, multi-vibrators, okay? And you have the lab based on this. So usually pre-COVID time, you know, students used to first do all this in a simulator, LT spice that you must have used. And then once you do it on LT spice, you get better understanding. You learn theory, then you do it on LT spice and then on hardware. So you know, write the hardware, how it should behave and why it is behaving. But in this time, uh, this hardware thing, we will show you from the lab. Okay, that Ramesh Bhai, if you know, everybody knows Ramesh Bhai, but if you don't know, you will know him. Uh, he's, uh, he has been handling analog lab and with his help, I'm also working from home, but we'll make sure that we show you this hardware based sequence and what you will perform is an LT spice. So I have been going on speaking. So do you understand what I said, all of you? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is yes. your textbook. Okay, this is your textbook, and I will tell you what we are going to cover up from that, your textbook. 
So this is a textbook that I will share and all this related information I will update you on our WhatsApp account and you will start with the diode first. Okay, so the third chapter is uh, the diode thing. And I'll be teaching from that. My slides are also based on this. Few slides here and there, maybe there. And then at the end, there are exercises. So we'll be doing all that way. And this is the reference book. That there are more books, but if you do this, is enough too. Okay, and uh, your total weightage out of 100%, 70 is for the exam and 30 for the laboratory where at the end we will conduct your viva and all. Okay, and uh, so this is how the lectures are based and BJT is the most uh, heavy part of this course, it means more carrying more weightage uh, in terms of lectures and markings. Uh, and uh, the point is, this BGT is a transistor and using transistors we can make analog circuits and digital circuits both. And as I said, this BGT is in few millimeters, right, it's a discrete component that you use in the lab. The smaller brother of this is used in your IC integrated circuit. Integrated circuit itself is like few centimeters by one, one or two centimeters by one centimeter or few mm by few mm. And that has millions and trillions of transistors. And uh, up till today, these circuits were mostly digital. Integrated circuits means they were digital, but in today's day, as I said, the MOSFET also, power MOSFET, we can have analog integrated into that, but still mostly, for commercial applications that you see, uh, the analog is a separate and the digital IC, like your processor, your memory, they are all digital and it hardly has analog component in that. So analog is a different one and if you see uh, a board, right, you will have uh, many components and then peripherals and with your digital IC there. So I will show you that uh, shortly. And uh, this is how. So now, whatever, let's say you learn, you are learning this, okay. Uh, it will be almost the same thing, but yes, the little uh, different uh, uh, because uh, the making and uh, the physics also is little different, right? But the overall thing is same, the same goal of using a transistor, whether it is BJT or MOSFETs. If you are good in this, Right, then the same principles can be applied to any other emerging device. So now, let me talk to you from another point of view. That you have seen electronics performance getting better and better. In the sense that you will see your laptop getting more slim and lightweight. Similarly with your phone. Right, with if you, you pay the same thing, you get better electronics in terms of functionality, in terms of quality, durability and your battery and right, even fireproof, waterproof. Am I right or wrong? Right. Yeah. So have you ever wondered why? How is that possible? No other technology has influenced this planet Earth like electronics. Why is that possible? Any idea? Have you ever wondered or no? See, your BJT looks like this, like your resistor, the way you do, uh, can you see all my screen? Uh, this is the symbol we will all study, this is how it looks. Had you done something using BJT in the lab ever? 
अरे आके ना तो बोलो नो मैम नो मैम नो प्रॉब्लम ओके टू नो यू ऑल नो डायोड राइट यू मस्ट टेल सील दिस डायोड सो दैट वे इज द वीजीटी ऑफ दैट सिमिलर डायमेंशंस बट व्हेन आई से इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट ओके right you know this but this has millions of transistor okay and that transistor is known as mosfet okay this is how the mosfet looks and this dimensions are few micrometer by few micrometer now you want to know so this is how it looks okay and it has so forget this terminal body it is grounded it has source drain and ground Okay, it has this three terminal, a gray gate, source, a drain, and gate. It has these three terminals. Okay, this is grounded. So this is another transistor which is there in the integrated circuit. So your IC is made up of this transistor MOSFET I showed you, and that MOSFET is made up in silicon wafer. You must have seen somewhere or other the silicon wafer. Okay, so can you see this silicon wafer? This one. Yes, ma'am. Now that this yes, one sir. chip, this one square you see now, is your one chip, one processor. It is cut. This is all cut. Okay, and that one chip that comes out is your your processor or a microcontroller or a memory or any other ASIC. We say, and this even this one will have millions of such MOSFET, which are in just. micrometer range now let me explain you how much is micrometer just to get an idea okay micrometer uh oh Okay, let me show you nanometer. That will be good. okay so we are here i just want to show you the idea of how much is one micrometer so see this is 1 cm okay and then 1 mm so this and this few mm less than 1 cm okay and uh, this human hair is around 100 so 1 micro is 10 to minus 6 of meter so this is cm is minus 2 of meter and micro is minus 6 of meter we are everybody can see na yes 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 sir yes, 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 yes. here is 10 raised to minus 4 of meter 100 micrometer that is the diameter okay and this is even now if you, if you have to see uh, the tip of your human hair we will not be able to right you cannot see clearly how it is so that is that and this is even this is 100 micro this is 1 micrometer i am talking and uh, the transistors that we make is like 10 by 10 micrometer okay so even less than that so that and then so and then this bacteria you know and of course viruses are even smaller than the bacteria so and this is 1 micrometer this is 1 nanometer 1 nanometer is 1000 times less than 1 micro this is minus 9 you can see our dna is minus 8 this atoms atom is atom is in armstrong okay so one uh, this uh, this atom uh, so in one m strong uh, right you can have two to three uh, uh, in one uh, nanometer you can have few atoms okay so molecules and in m strong the atom size is in m strong we say 10 raised to minus 10 so we are making the mosfet that i showed you is of this dimension it is in this dimension 
even less than say in today's state we are talking of transistors which are 10 nanometer so what i explained you is that that electronic size is shrinking and it is getting still better every time you get a better electronics which is less weight and smaller than the previous if it is same size you get more functionality is that correct yes ma'am why yes, why we get if this is the reason that in that wafer silicon wafer i showed you In this silicon wafer, so here there are hundreds of chips. If it is a microprocessor, you then it is cut down and there are hundreds of microprocessors you can make from one wafer. This is few inch by few inch, okay, and this may be uh, one centimeter by one centimeter. Then we package it and we do all this and you get like this way. So that is then packaged and then all these connections, they come out because that is in micrometer. You cannot connect it to the external world. And then we have to package it and these are the connections that come out and you make it, okay? So if you have Arduino or a Pi, okay, then this chip will fit there and all this will fit and then it will make connections with the other components. It can be with your any, my, the motherboard or any electronics pair, okay, for example. So these are the chips that fits and it will make a connection as you know. But... As I said, the MOSFET that you saw, that electronics is getting smaller and smaller is because of the MOSFET, like this. This is the, how it looks, the MOSFET, it is becoming, it gets smaller and smaller. So the nanometer that I showed you, and there are many such this to see the scale. That one was better. This is also equally good diagram. Clarity is not coming. Nonsense, I mean. Ah, now it is good. Okay, so this nanometer, right? Your blood cells, DNA, 
and then this nanometer. So this is ten, this is let's say hundred, this is one mm, okay, and then so now that MOSFET which was in you know micrometer range from uh, in sub hundred nanometer is now approaching to less than ten nanometer. Okay, so it is the, the, the transistor MOSFET that I showed you is shrinking. So all the dimensions, they become smaller and smaller, okay? So every 18 months, we electronics by research, okay? And the way the semiconductor industry is moving, this is reducing in size by half. Area is reducing by half every 18 months. So in the same area, you get double the number of transistors, this MOSFET, because we are shrinking that. And that's why you get lighter, uh, you know, uh, with more functionality and same price the electronics. Do you understand my point? That's why I was showing you, giving you an idea. So now, before it was like, let's say, some micrometer by some micrometer, now it is in nanometer. So 10 nanometer by 10 nanometer, even 5 nanometer by 5 nanometer. And now there is a a red brick wall. We cannot further miniaturize. If you miniaturize further, there are problems. Are you getting me? Everybody there? Yes, sir. Yes, so now there is a red brick wall. We cannot miniaturize this MOSFET further. And we are looking for alternate transistors. And those transistors are known as nanotransistors. So, if you make this small, then it will not perform the way it is. It should. It is not going to perform and that's why we cannot go with that. We cannot go ahead with this MOSFET. And we have alternate transistors for the future. They are like single electron transistor. Okay, your current is in just a nanometer, very low current. But yes, it will, it is, it will give you, it will give you current uh, of a few electrons. <laughs> the goal is the current with one electron only, final goal. Uh, so that, so that small little device in nanometer dimensions, because the device is small, it will give you very low current. Like tunnel fat, CNT, carbon nanotube fat, graphene fat, okay, fat is field effect transistor, MOS fat. Okay, so BJT is also a transistor. So that's what. So, so the future is emerging transistors, nanotransistors that will make your circuits and it will have properties that you cannot even think today. It, will, it has no counterpart in today's technology. They are like magic. Okay, so that's the goal. And, and now I hope you understand why do you study this analog and analog is the base of digital. If you know analog, digital is not a big deal. But anybody who knows digital, maybe still zero in analog and analog engineers are highly paid. And it, it is hard to find, even if you, you can count on your fingertips, good analog uh, people, right, who have good knowledge of analog design in the whole country, in your fingertips. It is even, you will not find this course even taught at many good institutions because they don't have professors who can teach analog digital. I, I can, even a student can teach once he has done. So that is the significance and importance of analog circuit. It's the base of digital. So that is all about analog. And this is how the lectures will be there. And the lab, uh, you all have a uh, same day lab. Everybody has same yeah, day lab? Yes, provided with the timetable. Yes, we have timetable. On which day it will be? So, I mean, uh, that updated timetable you have not got. That's what you are saying me, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, because if you have to make it to the class, then it was like different batches. 
but uh, i think in one day only you will have all together only but the ts will be there and uh, we'll be also there uh, the other batch is taken by professor nalin so uh, the thing is you will maintain a lab book okay and you will perform in lt spice you all have downloaded yes yes yeah okay so now uh, in the next lecture in the, my first lecture what i am going to teach you is this okay we we'll start with semiconductor physics and that's the base because your bjt your diode or the mosfet whatever electronics we are talking most of the electronic okay in uh, the commercial uh, electronics whatever we are using they are semiconductor now who will tell me why what do you mean by semiconductor and why are this electronic semiconductor in nature samjhai hai mara sawal you understand my question this diode is semiconductor that bjt is a semiconductor even mosfet is a semiconductor So why are there are this electronic semiconductor in nature? See, I feel that you are all intelligent little Einstein, but you have to behave like that way, and you have to reply me sometimes out of your knowledge, whatever you have studied or you know. It's all logical. And because we can control the flow of voltage and current in semiconductor. See, flow is of current. Okay, voltage ka flow oh, nahi hota. Flow of current. Not. Ah, so you want to control. So with conductor, you cannot control. You mean? No means, ma'am. Conductor can does not provide much resistance, but semiconductors and uh, material that provide resistance so that we can uh, minimum flow of current, control flow of okay, current. Okay. Okay. Yes. Pass. Yes. Good. Good. Correct. See, main thing is control. Insulator we have to forget, right? We don't get. current at all or very low current and that cannot work because this current uh, is the one that is it is like a river okay that is flowing through various cities so current is like it is flowing through various stages of the circuit right and when a river is flowing if it is starting from himalayas and if it is flowing then we will wish that it will deliver water to uh, throughout where it is flowing right it should not be like after 1000 a kilometer or meter that water should be exhausted as any hona chahiye river everybody should get the water na similarly here also in the circuits when your current is flowing which is carrying your information from one circuit to other right that equal strength of signal should flow it should not die out your current should not otherwise your signal is lost whatever information it is it is carrying it is lost before it comes to an end so for example if i am speaking from here and you are listening there then at all the stages your current your it should it should come to your system and then from digital it should be converted to analog and there also there should be an amplifier and then it should come to the loud speaker okay but in between only if it dies out then you will not have a signal that is reproduced okay forget uh, here if i am talking in the class then also right or uh, i mean here it is all different uh, stages it is going through the cloud and all but if that is not the thing and if i am speaking in the class then also it should that from the micro the, that uh, loud speaker i am speaking in the microphone in the class and it should come up with equal strength in the loud speaker it should not die out in between right that's the goal so so then so your signal should be uh yeah so yeah so that insulator will not at all work now semiconductor and conductor in semiconductor main thing is control you can control very precisely uh in uh, in let's say if it is a conductor then uh, on ki or off ki usme kuch control nahi rahega even little fluctuations will make it on or off in semiconductor you can control and what is the control that a voltage or you can control because of the voltage the current okay so very precisely that by giving the current is created because you are giving a voltage voltage is nothing but 
what are it voltage is what is voltage you are giving a voltage means uh, you are giving some potential and that potential is because of the negative and positive carriers which will flow eventually okay so here so here so if you if you recall and we will see the physics the band gap there is a valence band there is a conduction band and the electrons they move from valence band to conduction band so that you get a current and then it should not be that you have to give very high voltage also right then for little current giving too much energy we are human being we are intelligent people on the planet we want more output like you know you are investing less and you are getting more return that's what we want so with little voltage we want more current but that control has to be there that i am giving this much voltage then i get as any is thoda kuch bhi fluctuation hai aur wo shuru hi ho jaye so that control is main thing so and then that's what you get in semiconductor as he rightly said and then this is the base of your circuits semiconductor physics on which your diode is based you see may many circuits of the diode and then that's how the bjt uh, is also based on that right and mosfet is not there in your syllabus uh, but all these different circuits using bjt and is tomorrow let's say you are planning to study further your masters or uh, phd then vlsi that is your circuit design even we have masters in our institute in vlsi and then the future is nano electronics in which i have done my phd okay so based if but if this is strong then you can do that very easily and if you are studying vlsi or doing uh, or studying nano then it's all interdisciplinary you have physics and then mathematics of course because you are deriving the equations and if it is not supported by an equation or a mathematics right then that will not make it as a device you can you cannot commercialize it you cannot make a circuit because before making a circuit we have to simulate it and these equations are the base if you don't understand the, if you cannot make an equation it means you have not understood the physics so physics is the main thing then mathematics the equations of that and material science it's all semiconductor as we have to understand the semiconductor physics here so it is a material science then your simulator because if you don't have a simulator then you cannot see, see making a circuit directly is expensive especially integrated circuit if you want to have a one chip it cannot be because it is as you can see your one transistor is in micrometer range in less than micrometer and you are making millions of that so you need a very strong computer tool computerized tool which will mimic your real circuit and that is known as simulator so all the simulations then how to make a circuit now when you make a circuit there are different devices you have have forget uh, emerging device but you will have if i am talking of na uh, present technology and forget mosfet also integrated circuit if you are making just with the bjt you will have a bjt you may have a diode if the circuit needs but in addition to bjt you will have r and c so so many things come and the simulator should be able to simulate and it should like a your real circuit it should be able to mimic it so if you don't have a simulator then directly going and doing see an engineer's job is not to go in the lab and to connect to 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 connections you know connect and then give a voltage and see the engineer job is pen and paper work that any diploma can also go and do a little knowledge you know and you tell okay ja ke dekh lo simulation karke so it's all design principles uh, the theory the the circuit design as i said you should know all this how to do that so that is a job of an engineer and it is very logical uh, yes you have to be good but that confidence or being good in the subject only comes out of hard work 
because we all are intelligent not we at least you all are forget me i believe that you are all little einstein but your goal has to be focused and uh, this seems to be the the same thing that you must be knowing since you are young and you are you know on your own but believe me this is the only key to do good uh, in something that may seem to be challenging because if you don't understand and I am there at every step okay so I think I have given enough and spoken enough anybody has any query you can type in the chat box or you can unmute your microphone and ask me uh, ma'am abolo ma'am uh... As you said, uh, we can uh, double the number of transistors on uh, a specific uh, chip uh, as yes. compared to 18 months ago. So, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, you are right. That was some uh, rule or law yes, made by yes, some person. Yes, law. That law and is known as Moore's law, Joe. I'll show you. Okay, so this is, it is not, this is, uh, it is a prediction. Okay, you can say it is a prediction. It is known as Moore's law, and that's how the semiconductor semiconductor industry it follows this. Okay, this is more than uh, fifty years old law. Okay, Richard Feynman, he had given a lecture, and this is by Golden Moore. He is a, he was a co-founder of uh, Intel. Okay. So Moore's law on Wikipedia also it is that he was a Moore's Golden Moore gave this. And he was a co-founder of Intel, and uh, you can see uh, this is up to 2020, right? And the transistor count and year-wise, so it has followed this. So it is a prediction that the semiconductor industries, the academia, when they do research, everybody follows this, and that has been followed since more than 50 years. But now, as I said, there's a dead end, there's a red brick wall, and we are human beings we need better and better it's not that okay okay for our use as far as tv and your laptop and phone is there if you don't get a better version it's okay we are not using what we get today also but if you want to make it to another planet because we are all it is okay our planet is beautiful and of course uh, once we in our home we may feel like a jail Okay, but we are confined on the planet Earth. Okay, as a human race. So we have to find an alternate on another planet or whatever, other uh, bodies, right? Uh, uh, so for that, you need a technology. Okay, and uh, only technology can save us. Interplanetary mission you want to do or uh, you want to have right as a human race we want to conquer universe forget our planet the only technology can help it's not that for talking on the phone we need a better technology right and then as you know this all war like why america is powerful it has weapons latest take chap the bar the whole world will get destroyed so the one who has this technology uh, for all these different kind of applications they are ruling the world India passing. So, if you want to have a mission to a mass and establish a colony, to sujo apne technology do. If you can do that, India is ahead of America also. So, the technology will put you ahead. Space super jo hoy to ek elevator bana hoy to space super you need a technology. So, this is what you are right. So, this is Moore's law, and we have been following, and you know how. We as a human being, the way electronics has progressed. So, it has so ma'am, uh, my question is, uh, this Moore's law is applicable uh, only on uh, MOSFETs or all types of transistors? No, no. Okay, good question. It is applicable to MOSFET only. Jitli I see, Jitli chips is all made up of MOSFET. There is nothing else inside. It's like human body is made up of cell. Your IC is made up of MOSFET. Emma, if you want a resistor, is also made up of MOSFET, let's say. 
So IC means okay. MOSFET, nothing else. Hundred percent MOSFET, MOSFET, MOSFET. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, good question. Anybody else? Okay, then we'll meet on Friday, and I'll start with the first lecture, semiconductor physics.